All right, good morning. Um, so what I thought we'd do today is talk about how to set up a tarp in a high wind situation. So here's my tarp, let's get started. Okay, so the, uh, the tarp that I'm using is a, a DD Hammocks. It's a nine, uh, yeah, nine by nine, three meters by three meters. Okay, so um, I've set up my tarp here, and, and you can see it's uh, I've got it all spread out in a in a square. Now this configuration it's a triangle, it's it's a pyramid configuration. So um, what we're going to do to do is draw together two of the corners, um, and where you draw together the two corners, that's where your door is going to be. So you want to think about where your door is going to be, and start opposite to your door. So I'm going to want my door to be right here. Uh, by the camera so you can see me go in and out. So my back wall is going to be that corner there and that corner there. So I'm going to start by pegging those out. And when you peg it out it needs to be really really tight um, otherwise it, it's not, it doesn't really work very well. I'm going to pull this as tight as I possibly can. Okay, good and tight. Now, I've got my back wall staked out. Now what I'm going to do is these two corners here, I'm going to pull together and, uh, and then I've got the bottom staked out. I'm just going to move this down so you can see See what I'm doing here. Okay. Hammer that in. A trick is um, when you're uh, when you're putting these stakes in. Get your loops right down low to the ground, like almost on the tip of the spike, or on the tip of the, the peg. And uh, if you do that, it stays tight. If you bring them up higher on the, the tent peg here and try and hammer it in, it's going to loosen up. So keep them right down low, and that keeps it tight all the way down. Okay, now that is the tarp stake down. That's all that's all you need. Okay. Doesn't look like much right now, but in a second you'll see what happens. Now you need some way to bring the tarp up. So um, you could tie it up. There there are loops in the center. You could you could suspend it uh, from a from a branch or something. But again we're thinking of a scenario if we're out on Dartmoor we're at a uh, in a field. So one thing I, I almost always carry with me is a, a walking stick and it's got a nice smooth top. You can do this with a, with a regular stick but this is going to be right against the tarp so you want to make sure it's smooth it's not going to puncture a hole.
Okay, so the pole's in. There you have it. It's a, it's a tripod configuration. And to get in, it's this flap right here, which you can see can, the, it's coming down right there, across right there. That's, that's the, uh, the corner of the tent. And all you do is you just lift that up and you can walk right inside. And what's nice, of course, is when you're inside or when you're closing it for the day, it folds down and so you've got a complete seal. There's no way water is gonna get inside the tent. The only way water can get in is from underneath or running along the ground. So of course you have to, you have to pick your location very, very carefully. Uh, so to get in, just open it up like this step through. And once you're in, all you do is you just flip this flap over and then it's all sealed up. And there it is. One more thing you want to do, which I, which I do all the time, is actually uh, stake down this point right here, which gives you something you can connect this part to, so that if it does get windy, that's going to stay down low and it's not going to flap around. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've got that stake down. Now this is what I do when I'm inside to, um, to keep it all tightened up. Um, sometimes when I'm camping, I'll actually have a little uh, mini carabiner, which I use to clip uh, that together. But uh, right now I'm just gonna hook it over the, uh, the peg and you'll see how you can do that from the inside. It's, it's really quite easy. There it is. So uh, what we're going to do is just actually going to go inside and you can just take a look and see what the space you've got. Okay, so let's just go inside. Just lift that up. And just step inside. Okay. So here we are inside the tent. See how I've, I've just put that right at the center at the top. You can see how it's, see, see the three sides. Now, because this is a three by three tarp, I've got, I've got essentially nine feet either side. So, I have to put my, my, my head down at one end away from the door, but as you can see, I've got just absolutely loads of room in here to put all my gear. Uh, if I, you know, if you want to, you can actually have two people in here pretty comfortably. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be tight, especially, especially down by your feet, because that's where, you know, you, you know, if you imagine one person's along this, this other side, it's, it's, it's a tight, tight squeeze, but two people can comfortably do it. Um, but for one person, it's absolutely loads of room. And as I say, you know, there's, there's no way that rain's going to get in here, um, unless, um, it actually kind of runs along the ground underneath, which is, again, the, the other thing you want to think about is, um, <coughs> you can see where I'm, I'm sleeping here. I've got the pole on one side. And I've got the side of the, the tent here. Now you can stake that down. I'm a little bit closer to the ground. But um, one thing you've got to bear in mind is, if you're uh, while you're sleeping, you don't want your sleeping bag to kick out underneath because, of course, then it would it would get wet. So a bivy bag is a good idea. Um, or uh, you know, stake stake these down so that you're not going to accidentally push a corner of your sleeping bag outside the tarp. There it is. We'll just do one more glance around the whole thing 
and uh, then that's that's a high wind situation tarp configuration done. Okay, so here's the view from the from the outside. Okay, so there's the view from the outside. There's your tarp. It's completely enclosed. And as you can see, because it's a perfect, it's a perfect pyramid, this is super, super stable. I've had this in really, really high winds um, and absolutely no problem whatsoever. If you want to make it even more stable and give yourself a bit more room, just take a rope here. Just tie that out and that will give you give you a few more inches on the inside, which really makes a big difference. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you learned something. So if you need a, a tarp configuration where you know it's going to be windy and it's going to be raining and you want to stay snug and dry, that's that's what you should use. I've used it many, many times and it's, uh, it's never done me wrong. It's, it's a great setup. It's very, very stable, very, very secure and it takes only just a few minutes to set up. You can actually do it while it's raining and uh, actually keep your, your gear dry underneath it if you wanted to. So thanks for watching and um, See you in the next one. Enjoy the outdoors.